Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good evening friends. Census closed at 61,702.29, a loss of 104 points. Nifty closed at 18,385.30, a loss of 35 points. Bank Nifty closed at 43,359.50, a loss of 54 points. Bharti Airtel acquired a strategic stake in Lemnisk under Airtel's startup accelerator program. Apollo Hospitals fixed 28th December as record date for payment of interest on NCDs due on 12th January. Dabur India promoter have sold approximately 1% stake through block deal today. KP Green Energy has fixed 18th January 2023 as record date for the purpose of bonus issue. Salasar Techno Engineering has received two orders worth Rs. 748.46 crore Pastimajal Vaidyu Vitran Nigam Limited. TrueCap Finance Limited has announced an agreement to raise up to 105 crore in combination of equity shares, convertible warrants and NCDs from Zeal Global Opportunities Funds. MK Ventures Capital Limited has approved issue of equity shares of the company by way of rights issue not exceeding Rs. 25 crores to the eligible shareholders. UPL ranked number one for sustainability performance amongst its peers for third year running by sustainable analytics. Sarthak Metals Limited has announced an interim dividend of Rs. 1 per share and fixed record date as 30th December 2022. Intellect Design Arena informed that a new Ethiopian bank has been chosen, has chosen its product Intellect Digital Care to power its banking. Axicads Technologies Limited has announced that the company has been selected by Airbus to provide engineering services for product design and development and planned engineering for all Airbus aircraft programs. Capacity Infra Projects has received orders worth Rs. 117.20 crores from DLF for construction of proposed mall DLF Avenue in Panjim Goa. Delivery to acquire algorithm technology to strengthen integrated supply chain solutions offering. Larson and Tubro has committed Rs. 11 crore to support over 100 schools in Tamil Nadu under the government's Nama School initiative. Shia Metallics and Energy has acquired Metal Corporation Limited through NCLT route for an estimated cost of Rs. 450 crores to foray into the stainless steel wire rod and bar business. KFIN Technologies subscribed 70% on day 2 whereas QAB portion fully booked. Finance Minister said that starting from April 2019 to a still April 2022 only two loans of more than 100 crores has become classified as NPA out of, the, out of which one is fully recovered by Punjab and Sindh Bank and another one sanctioned by SBA stands upgraded. Bevco record sale of liquor worth Rs 50 crore on World Cup final day. India probes possible misappropriation of incentives by EV makers. Economic Times top 10 by R and sell ideas for traders are Linde India by targets 3660 to 3785, stop loss 3220. Balram Burchini by target 437 to 450, stop loss 362. Mahindra CAE Automation by Target 375 to 390, stop loss 288. Titan Cell, Target 2380 to 2300, stop loss 2620. India Bulls Housing Finance, Target 230 to 250, stop loss 135. DLF Cell, Target 348, stop loss 421. Z Entertainment Limited Cell, Target 212, stop loss 272. HRFC Bank by target 1700 surplus 1584. JB Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals by 2310 target. 
Sterling Technologies target 207. Notable shares which reach 52 week high today are About India, Adani Enterprises, Apollo Tires, Axis Bank, Confidential Petroleum, Donier, GIC Housing Finance, GIC RE, HCC, IAFL, JK Paper, Kalyan Jewelers, MCX, Medico, Nelcast, Para Cables, PNB Housing, PSP Projects, RHIM, RK Forge, SCA, SKM Egg Products, TAE India, Uniports, etc. Notable shares which reached 52 week low today are Arthi Industries, Aro Pharma, CLN India, Gland Pharma, Greenplay, Hester Biosciences, Loras Labs, Nika, PPL Pharma, Suntech, etc. Today's most active stocks in terms of volume are Suslon followed by S Bank, in terms of value are Adani Enterprises followed by Infi. Today in NSE, 65 shares touched upper circuit, 52 shares touched lower circuit, and 18 shares reached both upper as well as lower band. Notable shares which reached upper band today are Iastron, Axicates, DB Realty, Dharani Sugars, FACT, Indovins, Madras Fertilizers, Parsonath, RBNL, etc. Notable shares which reached lower band today are AMD Ind, Atlanta, Balaxi, Brooks, Educam, Madhukan Projects, Punjab and Sindh Bank, Shakti Sugar, etc. FIs are net buyers today to the tune of 455.94 crores and also DAs are also net buyers today to the tune of 494.74 crores. Top 5 stocks in Nifty 50 today are Adani Enterprises gained 2.20%, TCS gained 1.25%, Reliance gained 0.79%, Axis Bank gained 0.63%, Indusind Bank gained 0.61%. Top 5 losers in Nifty 50 today are SBI Life lost 3.01%, Asian Motors lost 2.22%, UPL lost 1.98%, Tata Motors lost 1.93%, Hindustan Unilever lost 1.59%. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.